now for the sign in form uh, we will add a decoration basically which will have circular sides from all the four sides okay now what I mean is let's just quickly implement it and you will see it with your own eyes and you will understand it more easily don't worry so inside this container basically we will implement our uh, sign in form first of all let's apply some decoration on this container so we can say box decoration and the color for this decoration will be colors dot white 24 the border radius border radius dot all that is from all sides we want circular radius so we can say radius dot circular and from all side it will be 60 then after it we have the box shadow property for this decoration so we want to add some shadow to it we can say box shadow the blur radius will be at the color will be colors dot black 26 offset offset 0 comma minus 3 then after this box decoration you can say child column widget and let's add our sign in form attributes that is the text field for uh, email and text field for password in order to take email and password as an input from a user the key for this let's initialize that here we can say variable form key global key form state so the key is form key child we will add another column widget children widget and let's add our first text form field this text form field will be for getting email from a user as an input and then we will have another one which will be for taking password from a user as an input so let's create the controller for it in which to which basically we will have where out the input which the user will write okay that is for example the email the user type and the password the user type that goes directly to the controller okay so let's create initialize our controller for example first of all we will have our email controller using which we can get the text which the user will type that is the email and it is of type text editing controller then we will have for the password let's give it name as password controller so now here we can say for the email the controller is email controller and then we have another property validator that is which will check with the help of which we can basically check that is let's say if the user leave the email text form field empty then we will display an error so using this VL we simply means value we will check that if value if that value become equals to empty that is empty string that is if the user leave the email field empty then in that case we will display this error message and we will tell to the user please write email else if the value is not equals to empty then in that case we will do nothing null okay let me tell you if the value become equals to empty then we will display this error message otherwise if the value is not empty then display nothing after it we can apply some decoration on over this text form field that is the input decoration we will add a 
icon at the start so for that purpose we have property prefix icon so let's add icon and the icon will be email icon so we can say icon start email then the color for this will be color start black after the prefix icon we will display some hint so we can say hint text which will be email then let's apply some border that is outline outline input border the border radius will be border radius start circular and from all sides 30 while the border side border side the color for the border side will be color start white 50 for white 60 will be good okay white 60 and as you know this icon will remain constant that is for the email it will be email icon okay which will not change at runtime so we have to add a const modifier with it similarly with the border site so this is all about our border now after this we have enable border property for which we will have the same outline input border okay and then we have the focus border focused border for this we will also have the outline input border and then the disable border for this we will also have outline input border and then after it finally we have the uh, content padding so we can say edge inserts dot symmetric horizontally it will be 14 and vertically it will be 6 let's add a const modifier here and guys don't worry I will explain this whole design again okay once we implement this so you will further understand it more in details after the content padding let's add fill color for our text field and which will be colors dot white and then filled will be set to true which you can see here okay the color the fill color is white so this is our email field okay email text form field now after it let's copy paste this for the password so for the password you will say please write password if the password is leave empty and make sure to change this to password controller and then we will have a icon for the password which will be vpn underscore key sharp as you can see here now both of these are joined okay so let's add some size box that is some space between them so height size box of height 18 now with the password uh, we will also add a suffix icon that is at the right side okay which will be for hiding the password and make the password visible if the user click on it so for that purpose uh, we have a property which is basically the uh, suffix icon okay so we can say suffix icon this one so we can say obx gesture deductor on tap now that is something which we will implement later for now let's just quickly add an icon here so icon 
and we need to basically initialize here a boolean boolean type variable of secure is obscure and we will give it the default value true dot obs since we are using get x okay that's why dot obs we are using so here first of all we will check that if the is obscure dot value that is if it become equals to true then in that case our icon will be icons dot visibility of if the is obscure value is true then we will have this icon else the icon will be icons dot visibility and the color for this will be colors dot black which you can see here now we have to uh, inside the on tab okay that is when the user want to see the password text to make it visible we have to add here a condition that is if the is obscure is obscure dot value equals to not exclamation mark okay not is is obscure dot value then the on tap will work that is when the user tap on it simply display the text within it okay as you can see here it is also changing the icon according to that for example now if I write uh, password as you know this is the password field okay the second one and to make the password secure uh, that is to make this text form field for the password to by default the password will be secure which simply means that in dotted form okay not visible so by default we have to do that and we have a property for that which is by the name obscure text the value of which is uh, saved inside the boolean type variable is obscure dot value whatever the value of it is it will set this password text field according to that one more thing is as we are using a text so we can as you know the value uh, that is this text form field will change at runtime this password text form field okay and the user tap on this button so for that purpose we have to uh, cut this obscure and first of all we have to write here obx okay obx just like this and inside this obx we will say arrow operator okay just like this and we will pass our text form field just like this so simple and so easy now if we uh, install the app on our phone by clicking the play button now let's just test it so let's say if I type password you can see it is in dotted form by default there is secure form by default if I click here then it will make the password visible which you can see here if I click here again then it will make the password secure that is converted to dotted form at runtime it is changing okay as you can see here so that is really nice and really incredible so anyways now after this we will add some space and then a button login button so let's just copy this size box and after the password text field we can simply press that and then we can add our button that is material the color for this button will be colors dot black then the border radius for this button will be border radius dot circular 30 child inkwell on tap which is the click event for the login button which we are implementing after the on tap for now we will leave this click event empty after this we can add some border radius on this inkwell okay this border radius was for our this material widget inside which we have inkwell and now for this inkwell we are applying this border radius on it so we can say border radius and it will be circular third and say child padding widget padding 
as in set start symmetric and vertically it will be 10 and horizontally it will be 28 then inside this padding we can add child text that is the text for this button and you know that the text for this will be login as this is the login button let's apply some style on it that is change the text color make sure to add a const modifier with this padding okay which contain this text widget login which will remain constant that's why we add this const modifier with it so this is our two text field one is for the password one is for the email and a login button now uh, let's fix the design quickly so what we need to do is uh, as you know our email text field password text field and this button it is inside this column widget and this column widget is a sub part of the form widget and the form widget is basically the part of this parent column widget now on this column widget let's apply padding on it okay so wrap with padding first of all make sure to click here it will show you this yellow bulb click here and simply click on wrap with padding so it is wrap this parent column widget okay it is wrap with padding so you can say as in sets dot from left right left top right bottom so one by one okay 30 from left from top also 30 and from right also 30 and from bottom it will be at just like this as you can see here also this whole design okay alongside with this background decoration okay from all side which is which has a uh, circular uh, ends okay from all four sides so this is basically this whole container inside this so let's wrap this container also with some padding so just click here before this container see you will see yellow bulb click on it and simply wrap with padding and padding from all sides let's change this to 16 so you can see that also this box decoration will remain constant so make sure to add a const modifier with it so let me just explain this I mean what we have done in this video that is we have implemented the sign in form which is this one so first of all we add this background okay you can see this which is a combination of you can say this box decoration white 24 and black 26 the shadow okay the background color is white 24 and the back box shadow for that is black 26 I hope you can see this black color okay lighted black color you can say which is white 24 and black 26 combination you can say basically this back uh, black 26 is the box shadow color and the box decoration color is white 24 okay so that's why we see this highlighted uh, white black background you can see that okay so basically inside this container or you can say inside this box decoration okay that is on the top of this container or you can say on the top of this box decoration or you can say inside this box decoration that is this container has a child we are basically on the top of it we implement our this uh, sign in form the email text field password text field and login button which is basically this child okay which is the child of this container okay and this container is has this decoration which we implemented which I already told you which is the uh, which has a background color white 24 and the box, box shadow is black 26 then inside this container that is on the top of our this box decoration that is on the top of our this container we implement these two text field and a button which is basically inside this padding if I expand this in front of you then you can see that inside this padding we have our sign in form that is our email text field and our password text field and then we have a button which you can see here okay